Sharking, for the people that don't know, is like if you were about to shoot and I moved and distracted you on purpose. Like I'll wait until you're right about to, sh to move and I'll drop my cue. Yeah. Or I'll spill a drink. I'll make some noise. Like people do things on purpose to try to distract people. Yep, that happens a lot. That's some Especially bitch. gambling. That's some bitch shit. Yep. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. They try it all the time, too. But it's some bitch shit. When someone does that, that's bitch ass shit. Like, what are you doing? Just play. Oh, there's a lot of moves, even when it comes to pro players, too. Is there, like, what? Uh, I don't I don't really want to mention names. But no, you don't have to mention names. So I was playing the guy uh, a long race last year, and, uh, for example, everybody knows, like, uh, if you f if you win, uh, so we're playing a race to 100, and every, every day we're playing a race to 33. So I, I ended up winning day one, and I should be the one breaking the balls next day. So uh, I come in, and we're about to begin, and he's like, are we legging again? So I'm like, uh, no, bro, it's my break. So uh, there was a lot of a lot of different moves. Like uh, we, we used to, we agreed to play with one magic rack, and he ended up uh, stealing the magic rack. And then, <laughs> and then we were on a break, and I broke the balls, made four balls on the break, and I had a dead. I was dead out, and he's like, "Are you practicing or what are you doing?" I'm like, "No, we're playing." I just asked you a minute ago, "Are you ready to start?" And he's like, "I didn't say anything." Oh, I was thinking you're, 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 you're practicing. I'm like, no. This bro. is a professional who did this? Yeah. I think you should say his name. Oh, no, no, no. Everybody <laughs> what does it will... rhyme with? Huh? What does his name rhyme with? Rhyme with? What does it rhyme with? Like, uh, Bogan rhymes with Rogan. Uh, Filler everybody rhymes will, with Diller. Everybody will understand. Yeah. He, he, was, he was a Filipino. So. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> so he was, tr well, you know, they're probably gambling a lot of money, right? Uh, we played for twenty grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, big chunk of money, yeah. Especially yeah, for big Philippines. chunk of money, and people get they get a little feisty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, in gambling, do you think that people take drugs when they gamble? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Look at you, like yeah. Yeah. What do you think they play? What do they think they take? Adderall. Hmm. Uh, Amphetamines. Yeah. yeah. Because you can see, if you go to Derby City Classic, you will see people play for two, three days straight without, <laughs> any, without any breaks. That's and, a heart attack special right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. And they play some crazy games like These that. These aren't the healthiest people in the world either that are taking this Adderall and staying up for days. Like, they're fucking, they're burning it. Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. They play some crazy ass games like 15 ball bang game where you just, it's an old, it's an old man game where you just kind of clip the balls and you're just banging balls around for like 50 minutes so um, it's a bank game yeah 15 balls yeah but there is a lot of moving part like mm. you just play safety 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 as right over. until you have a good bank shot yeah and then after 50 minutes of playing safety so you have a bank shot most likely you're going to miss it and then it goes over and over and over and they do it for like days and days <sighs> so adderall's the big one it is a big one uh i'm sure people play on cocaine uh I would think cocaine would be a problem. I've never done cocaine, but for what I understand, it doesn't last that long. No, but they, they're taking breaks. <laughs> and I've seen, one time I've seen the guy was using cocaine instead of uh, the powder for his cue. What? That's an expensive powder right there, yeah. He was putting cocaine on his fingers? Yeah, and then doing like... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine for baby powder oh my god that's insane but he was he was fucked up like completely <laughs> <laughs> was he playing well he was playing decent i mean he's a de decent player i don't know his name but uh he was a uh, just an action junkie well like i said about that book uh buddy hall i think it's uh from rags to riflemen is the name of the book i have a copy of it and it's uh, a very old book and the way it was made it looks like it was self-published. Like the font would be different sizes on different pages. It's a rare book. You can still find it. Like sometimes on AZ Billiards, someone has a copy of it for sale, but it's pretty valuable now. Mm -hmm. But they all played on amphetamines, and they would all play for days and days and days, but it fucked a lot of people's lives up. Oh, of course. Because they all got addicted to that stuff. Of course. Yeah, I mean, I've played a lot of matches that lasted more than 
10 hours and for me it's it's really really tough because i never do anything like that and i drink water and maybe i'll drink pepsi if i feel that yeah. i need some energy some sugar so uh yeah of course it gives them big advantage in matches like that